Okay, so uh, question and answer time for tonight. Uh, Sean. What did you say is your process or thought behind like a joke's quality or determining a joke's quality uh, and how best to test it out to kind of figure out where it would kind of land in your repertoire? How to find out or know if a joke is funny. Boy, that's one of the most perplexing things in comedy because as, as all of you already know is that you know, it can get a scream in one show, and then the next one it gets the roar of silence, which is a very loud sound. <laughs> so, um, wow, that, how do you test for the quality? First of all, uh, for you guys taking my class, you know what joke structure is, okay? So the first thing is, make sure it's a joke. <laughs> Jokes have a very specific structure. There's got to be two interpretations of one thing at the center of it, or it's not a joke. Not my rules, that's just the rules of how the human mind work and the structure of all jokes on the planet. Uh, when I mean jokes, I mean the single unit of humor, not just one-liners. Uh, that's the first thing is, is can people come to me all is this is this funny or blah, 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 they'll ask, which I never answer, but, but the first thing is I'll look at it and go, it's, it's not a joke unless there's more in this than you're telling me about. That happens all the time. Uh, so, I mean, you go to the open mics and stuff, and I, I've been to a bunch of them, three, four of my students are at the same one, I'll just drop by, see what's going on, and I'll sit and watch people, and I'll go, that's not a joke, that's not a joke, that's not, that's a premise, that's, or, that's, not, that's not a joke, that's, not, that's a joke, and they get a laugh. So, first step, make sure it's a joke, including your tags. Uh, if they're not in joke structure, they're not jokes. Second is, um, I, I say there's really only two places really to go to find out if something's funny. Two places. Number one, you. If you think it's funny, you put it out there. And if it doesn't get a laugh, rearrange it, play with it, put it out there, put it out there. Keep, keep messing with it because, one, if it has joke structure and you think it's funny, then there may be some adjustment you can do to find out to make that work, okay? Uh, talk to, you know, people ask me, what's, what's funny? Just the general, I, I don't know. Nobody knows. They ask, uh, I saw an interview with the guys at uh, South Park. They said, well, how do you know what's funny? And they go, well, we don't know what's funny. We know what we think is funny, and we write that, and a whole bunch of people over here really love us, and a bunch of people over here think we're Satan, <laughs> right? Uh, so, you're not going to please everybody, that's the first thing, and you are going to offend some group of people if you're writing good jokes. So first you, if you think it is funny, trust yourself, and that's why I don't answer the question if it's funny or not. I'll answer whether it's well structured, if it's a joke, if it's well written, all those things, because those are the things I can help you straighten out and I can teach you how to do them. Uh, funny is personal opinion. When people ask you what's funny, it's like, it's like asking somebody what's good music or what's good food. Oh, you know, in, 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 in what criteria? <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a lot of different answers to that and everything is personal. So the second place and, and very important, an audience. Now I mean a real audience, an audience who's listening to you, okay? One that is checking it out in front of them to get that response, okay? Now, remember, I've dealt with this in previous uh, videos about going to open mics. It's a two-step process. First, come and evaluate. If people are listening, try to get our read on your material. If nobody's listening, then stand there and rant or riff or do something for yourself because if you do your material to think you're going to get a read on it in an open mic where no one is listening, you'll just find it discouraging. So if you're gonna try it out and, and, you know, make sure there's people listening that are really listening and you can get an honest read on it. Uh, and the places not to go, okay? Places not. First of all, don't go to your friends and family because what they think you want is criticism. And they will criticize the joy right the fuck out of that show. <laughs> Two, other comedians. Mm. Oh yeah, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Don't go to them because it's taken, it's taken them years and years and years and years to find out what's, what makes them funny. 
So that's kind of all they know. Okay, so they think they know what's funny. No, it's not true. What's funny for Andy Kaufman is not funny for Stephen Wright. Okay, I, I, I don't know. It's not, you know, it's not funny for Richard Pryor. They're, all their funny is completely different, so they're all going to give you a different opinion of what's funny. So I find it completely invalid, in a, and it kind of invalidates itself. That's why I don't let people in the class give their opinions. Because one person will say, I want, I think it's good, I think that's bad. Well, I don't even like it, I'm offended by it. I'm, now at the end of that, what happens? The student is just confused, okay? Because you've gotten so many different opinions. It's not an opinion on my part, whether I say a joke is well structured or not. That, that is based on technique that I can teach you and I can, I can give you feedback so that you go, oh, that change makes sense, or this and that, or whether it is a joke or it isn't a joke. So that kind of brings us full circle. One, make sure it's a joke, okay? Two is yourself. Trust yourself over anything else. I've had debates with students. I went, I, you know what, I'm not sure that thing's gonna, what, it's gonna work, but they'll go, well, I wanna try it. Absolutely, you have my full support. Okay, then they will learn. If it works, then I learn. <laughs> if it doesn't work, they learn. But I'm always saying, oh, if you think it's, if you think it's good, then, you know, forget what I said. You follow your own instincts. So make sure it's a joke. Follow your own instincts. And third, take it in front of a real audience, a real audience who is listening. So when you put it out there, you can get some kind of a read or... Uh, honest, uh, honest response with it, whether it's laughter or lack thereof. <laughs>